So some things that I'm working on at home with my gilding is I'm, I'm trying to help him understand um, how to sit back a little bit more in his trot. And I mean, I, I'm, obviously it's not, he's not to the point of passage, but I want him to start uh -huh. thinking a little yep. bit in that way. Yep. Um, even if it's just for a step or two. Yeah. And I'm having problems understanding what I need to do okay. to help him know that. Yep. So um, if that is something that I don't, if he could teach me totally. a little bit of that. He'll, so <laughs> you'll totally feel like it, he won't go into a big, brilliant no, passage, no, no, no. but you will get completely the feeling yeah. of passage. Yeah, I just want to understand uh -huh. what, when to release, when to ask, you know, yep. what it's supposed to feel like. So I know, okay, this is the right, let it go. Yep, yep. Yeah. So what I think about in, when I'm trotting is I'm, did I say like sitting on a ball to you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the yoga ball is bouncing, mm -hmm. bouncing, bouncing along. Then when I want to make it more passage i I'm going to think, Bounce it more up mm -hmm. and down. Don't let it go down super fast. It's like sure. slower, slower, okay. slower bounce. Okay. So that's how I sit into it with my with my body. I'm almost gonna hold with my thighs a little bit more and like weight lift, weight lift, and then I put a little bit of leg into him because you don't want to slow it down right. really. Right. You want to add energy, okay. but you may have to at first when you're going with a horse that doesn't have the idea. Sure. Okay. Fault a little more firm. And then you put a little bit of leg and go, hey, slow it down, but energize, slow it down, but energize. Okay, so it may, just at the very beginning, it may be, okay, you have to actually slow down. I need you to understand that you have to come back and then we add the energy to it. Yeah, so there, okay. I mean, there's two ways of kind of doing it. You can kind okay. of slow it down, add energy, mm -hmm. or you can, if your horse is totally listening to your half halt, because mm -hmm. technically you have to add more mm -hmm. to the trot to get right. massage. Right. But if they don't have the half halt, you can't add more already, you know, because sure. so you need to be able to go half halt weight energize. Yes. So that's Got something it. that we can actually get into fairly quickly with him. He'll okay. show you. Cool. So yeah, we'll pick up the trot okay. and or shorten up your reins, get him ready, and then we'll go sitting trot. Okay. And then we will be thinking about how you collect the trot a little bit okay. and make it make the bounce a little bit more like definitive, clear sure. bounce, bounce. Okay, so in this trot, it's just kind of like you're thinking about your bounce, 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 bear down, right? So, and just to be clear, it's not that I want you bouncing, sure. but you're just bouncing yeah, along on the ball. Yeah. Yep. So now to ask for a little passage, slow down your bounce, close your thighs, add a little bit lower leg and half halt. Half halt, leg, leg, good. Now soften and go out of it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cool like that. So you just think about again to make a little passage. Bear down, close your thigh, half halt and leg, leg, and soften it again and go out of it. Yeah. So you get just a few steps, but it's like super clear. Yeah. And now walk for a second and just tell me what you did. Um, I kind of just so I I, I bared down a lot, a lot for just uh -huh. a second. Yep. Until I could bring him back. And then I just added a little bit of like spur and lower leg, and then he seemed to just come. He's up. like, um, um, yeah. exactly. If you put your leg into him, he's, he knows what to do with that. Yeah. So it's like you, you kind of go, wait on my seat. Yeah. Because we're not going fast anymore. Yeah, wait exactly. on my seat. Yeah. And then come up more. Exactly. So let's do it again. Okay. So not too fast. Good. And now just start to think about let's close the trot up a little bit, bring a little bit more up and down in the trot. Bear down, shoulders back, back rebars. It's, uh, we're gonna half hold him and supple him a little bit okay. more. Don't think about heavier in the seat, but just clearer rhythm bounce. Yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, okay. Good. Circle a little sooner. And close it and little, yep, yep. And soften. Good job. Thanks. We're gonna change directions. Go rising trot for a second, just to kind of soften his back a wee bit, and yeah. Okay, so up the next long side. Actually going here, you can go sitting again and you can use the long side. And you're gonna go just a few steps of passage into this. So coming into here, supple him a little bit right, bear down, hold your thigh, and little bit of lower leg. Bump, 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 there. That's fine, soften and soften again. Yeah, good job. Now bring it back one more time. Huff, halt, leg, yeah, 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 good. Soften again. Good, and walk for a little bit. Just explain it to me again, so, so you're getting the idea for your horse. Bearing in, bearing down, 
adding some of that core pressure. <laughs> Leading the horse past and it decided to snack on the bush. <laughs> <laughs> um, closed in thigh. I okay. almost set, tucked and set just a little bit A little back. bit more down, huh? Yeah. Yep. Not, not back, but down, yeah. Yep. Um, shoulders stayed really, I tried to keep my shoulders really yep. wide, wide in the chest. Yep. Um, and then added just lower, lower leg, held him so I could bump, go bump. out in front of yeah. the box. Yep. And then just got him taller. Yeah. Yeah. And you'll see in the videos, he's maybe sometimes a little too up in the front. Okay. He could be a little bit rounder into it. Sure. But that's okay, because okay. you know, you're just getting the feeling yeah. of what to do with that. Yeah. We'll let him walk another circle, and then yeah. we'll go to a little bit of canter work, and okay. we can work on a few changes. Sure. So when, when you go for the changes, what I want you to do is, because he, he may change before you ask, but he might not. Um, I want you to be able to set him up very straight, mm -hmm. no flexion, and then make him wait on the new half halt, and okay. then do your change with okay. the, swapping the legs and shifting the hip a little bit. Okay. So, um, did I t talk to you about hips in the canter? So it's your the lead that you're in. That hip is kind of back. So if Correct. I'm in my right lead, my left hip yep. is back. When I'm ready to do that half halt and change, the left hip goes forward. The exactly. Right hip you goes switch back. the hips. Yep. 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 So there's there's a picture that I use sometimes. Is have you ever seen someone fencing? Yeah. How they kind of jump forward. With They're like yeah, fence, yep. fence, fence, right? Yep. So, and this is the position, if I'm fencing lunge position right, yep. this is for your right lead canter and you're yep. going like this, you know? Yep. Um, so when you're going for the change, it's like fence, 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 and swap the change. Right. And yep. you're going like okay. that. So I don't want a big, I don't want to, I don't want to see your shoulders shift yeah. too much, but it's like, I'm here, I'm here, yeah. I'm here, I'm here, right? It's so minimal. Yep that he could feel it, but I don't want to see it because you'll see some people that are like swing into the change and I don't want swinging changes. Okay. So think about your body. So let's do that again. His haunches came in too much into the walk transition. Okay. So I add a little more inside leg at first. Think shoulder four, supple him right. And from the inside leg, then yeah, okay. well done. That's okay. <laughs> Pop it back. Good. That's okay. No matter. No worries. Just circle yeah. ones. Yep. Okay. You got it back. So toes turned in because if you spur, <laughs> yeah, that's okay. <laughs> so now slow it down. We're going to think about one, there, there, good. So not fast on this diagonal. It's okay. weight and careful with that spur. It's a little yep. bump in him. Good. Oop, that's okay. <laughs> it's okay. And then sit back Pause again. Yeah. Yep, yep. I'm having a hard time. <laughs> Having so, a hard time just keeping knowing what the happy medium is, you know? Yes. To not get the change, but keep the forward. Yeah, yep. So hands a little open, supple right. I'm gonna straighten him. Half out right, half out right, and that's fine. Did you ask for that? Yeah, I did. Okay, it was very clear that he, I mean, he clearly went for that, but yep. So now half out right again. You can do another diagonal, not all the way to the end, just somewhere okay. medium-ish diagonal, and we're gonna come across and we're gonna ask for the change. Half out him a little bit more, he can wait. Now, make sure he's not looking left when you go for your change. Whoops, that's okay. Right, was it too left? Yes, Yeah. Okay. and a little bit too him. quick, that's yeah. okay. So I want him thinking, collect, that's a little fast. So slower. Yes, that kind of canter. There's more jump on the canter. He's waiting, waiting, bear down, thighs attached, waiting. And you should be able to soften your hands just a little bit. Hold him with your thighs and your bear down. So wait, supple him, and now supple a little bit left, half halt right, and your change. Yeah, good. Now wait, wait, wait. Good. Good job. Good job. Wait on your right sit bone, wait on your right shoulder back. Oop, that's okay. <laughs> Is he gonna spook at something? <laughs> Andy has a, a spook sometimes, I guess. <laughs> Good, now you're gonna come across straight towards the letter you're going towards. Half out left, supple right, half out left, supple right, fine. Right, so now you have, that's okay. <laughs> you get a couple one tempies in there. <laughs> so walk for a second again. But we'll go for a long line and we'll get like three changes on the line. Okay. But he's a little like, go, go, go. Uh -huh. So you've gotta bring it really, down really. and wait. I need to remember because as soon as I thought about what you said, Quit. Um, as soon as I closed into my thigh, he was like, okay. Okay, I can wait. Yeah. So I need to remember that because as soon as I did that coming out of this corner, he waited a lot better. Yeah. Yep. And then he, he's just going like a little bit like, go, you know, so just. <laughs> he's like, I know what uh, I ask. I know what I know. What I know. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But at least he's good enough to wait for, yes, you, to, for you to do it. And then he also doesn't like, we change. <laughs> he's like, I got it. No, he's great. He's so good. But what I want to see is, so we're going to do a diagonal, a long diagonal, okay. and go for three changes on it. Okay. One somewhere near the quarter line, yep. one near the center line, and one near the next quarter line. Okay. So don't count, just go yep. just straight, 
and waiting. One, 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 and change, you know, and okay. wait, 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 and change. Okay. And don't do big aids. The smallest, just think about just yep. gently swing the outside, the new outside leg back with a new hip back and, okay. and go for it like that. Okay. So same thing when you go for your canter transition here, you can go ahead and pick him up and we'll pick it up on the circle here. And if he's good right away, you can go right for your diagonal line. Okay. But right away into one and wait. Yeah, bear down and thighs. And inside leg a little more forward. Good, now wait. Yeah, waiting more. Yes, inside leg forward, inside leg forward. It just swung, swung back yep. a little bit. Yep, that's okay. So clearly outside back, inside forward. Now supple him right. And wait, wait, wait. And change, that's fine. Wait, wait, supple him right now, straight. That's fine, now supple him left. Half all right, half all right, and change, fine. Okay, you can do a diagonal and go for a line of four tempes. Okay. If you feel like you can keep straight. If he gets really crooked, abandon mission and straight. Sit back. And then straight across the diagonal. Straight. One, two, three, four. One, two, that's okay. Four. And straight now. Left half halt. Oops, that's okay. <laughs> He's like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. So we'll do it again. Waiting more yep. into the fours this time. That's a better canter there. Feel that. Now hold that there. Wait. Hands low. Hands wide. Supple. Half halt. And one, two, three. One, two, three, four. That's okay, it doesn't matter. So he just didn't get quite straight enough onto that next yep. one. And the first one you just ask one stride too soon. Yep. Okay, try it one more time. Just straight and wait, straight and wait, straight and wait, straight and wait. Bear down close, you. yes. Now stop on a little bit right and then straight and wait. One, two, three, four. One, two, straight, four, three, four. Yeah, good, don't no, change again. Nope. Yeah, good job. Now yeah, let him walk for a second. Better. Yeah, you were able to keep him a little straighter. That felt much more organized. <laughs> yes. Straighter and waiting. <laughs> was, yeah, I was just actually counting and thinking and... Uh-huh. Yeah. That was great. You are such a good guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love being able to sit on something that knows more than me. They just like, he just knows it. He's yeah. So good. Yeah. He's such a good guy. We'll walk a little bit and we'll try a line of threes. Okay. Sometimes threes are easier than fours. Okay, we can shorten up the reins okay. and get ready for a line of threes. And just wait, like, I don't care if you don't wait, start them until like after your quarter line or something because okay. you wanna just be straight okay. and have your destination in mind. So okay. going towards F or wherever down there, or yep. one of the posts and just keep them straight towards it. Good, now he was a little haunches in into that transition, but keep going with it. Keep the outside ring. Good job. That's a lovely canter. Now, if you could keep that canter for a line of threes, that would be amazing. I'm just gonna go across and straighten him. Yeah. Now half out left, and go for your changes now. One, two, three. Check. One, two, three. Good boy. Yep. That's fine. Another diagonal like that. You want to think like one, two, three. Um, one. Well, yeah. go ahead. Um, I just felt like I was too late. Yes. I was a little slow. Yep. <laughs> and I think half halt before the change. So the stride before half halt and change. One, two, three. One, two, three. And we've got to yeah, half halt getting... a little bit more. Yep. Because what he's doing is then he's getting a little quicker, yep, right? Yep, yep, So like on beat two, half yeah, halt, three start. change. Yeah. Yep. Sorry. That was my fault, buddy. Come on. So already we think half halt, half halt, half halt. Yeah, yeah, hold with yep. the thighs, bear down. So if he speeds up, don't change, just wait. Half halt, one. That's okay, <laughs> you got two, you're getting a line of twos, and then a little one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's fine, doesn't matter. I'm not quick enough yet. <laughs> yep, that's okay. I'm gonna make this a little more interesting and go for a line of twos. Okay. I'm gonna just go one, two, one, two, on the two you asked with the change. So. One, two, one, two, <laughs> one, two. I'm too slow. One, two. That's okay, totally fine though, right? Because yeah, that's I'm just too, you figuring yeah. out how to yes. get quicker into yes. the timing of it. Yeah. Because you got the first one. Yep. And it's really, really, it, twos come fast. They do. So we'll do it again. We're gonna go. When you're ready. One, two, three, <laughs> one, two, one, two. One, two, quicker, quicker. That's okay, quicker, quicker. 
<laughs> I'm too slow. That doesn't matter. It's fine. <laughs> so then you walk for a little bit. Because what you're getting is threes, and they're fine threes. But it's it's literally, it's like... Yeah, it's just so fast. On, you don't have time to think in the in the twos. Yeah. And then the ones is like faster than... It's like boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah. It's just... <laughs> I could not yet. <laughs> <laughs> but then that at least gives you a really good feel of, um, you know, how to start asking for those changes in, in the lines absolutely. and start counting for them a little bit. Absolutely. Counting is really not important at first, but... Yeah, I know. Absolutely. And then, of course, there's all the other fun things that go into it where you're like, stay straight, yes, half halt, yes. wait, keep your thighs closed, keep bearing down. <laughs> and he's really good about calling you out when, he's not, when you're not. Totally yeah, if good. you're not in the right spot, he's like, he's, ah, yeah. out. He's like, I'm just going to take over. <laughs> <laughs> and I probably would have, if you were like going to be working with me for a while, I probably wouldn't have done all that right away. Sure. Because I would have been like, well, we're going to spend more time making yeah, you straighter totally. in some of these things. <laughs> totally. But totally. for you to just get the feeling of it, you know. Yeah. Um, I think I want to finish that with him. I think I totally agree. That's good. Yeah, I don't um, but that was really cool to, for you to be able to feel both of those. Yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate this. This was super helpful. I have a lot of stuff to work on. Feels yeah. really good. <laughs> and I like doing like when you start to add multiple changes and just doing like two or three on the diagonal where you have tons of time. Yep. To go, okay, yeah. I'm, I'm lined up, I'm straight, my body's there, the horse is there, he's waiting, now change. And then, can we get it back together for the next one? Yes, no, thank you. That was amazing. This was fabulous. This was fabulous. <laughs> yeah, super. Well yeah. done. Thank you. And your teaching style is very relatable, so it makes it easy to understand, to change it into practice. So that was really good. Thank you so much. Good. You're very welcome.